And welcome to the back. Welcome back. This is neither the time nor the place. <laughs> it is the time and the place. Uh, well, it's the time, anyway. It may not be the place. We're going to go to the Lar L Lunaris Temple. And um, do whatever it is we're doing here. Got to find the moon orb. Then we're going to find the sun orb. Then we're going to have a big fight. Oh, hello. Yep, so that's worked well. <laughs> Let's just walk in a circle. Nice. Are we placing two guns? Oh no, we can just place guns really fast. Sometimes. some serious leveling up to do. A little bit confused why it does feel like sometimes we're placing two guns. You know? But that's okay. That's why. Because <laughs> you can just place an absolute fuck ton of guns. Wow. Going up.
There's a lot of you guys. He's very, very aggressive. He's got the blessing of the ancients, apparently. Well, doesn't have the blessing of the ancients anymore. Asshole. I saw something online about uh, suggesting using these unique items very early on, like that one, in order to get a tabula or similar. Might be something in that. Never know. Poison. Have we got some sort of skill repeat on here or something? Yeah, who knows. Fella, eh? Tall fella, eh? Okay, tall fella. Shock powers and poison powers. Fuck me. I'm <laughs> uh, uh, very glad I'm not playing hardcore. That's a dick move, Banner. Dick move. Do we just want to take the... Um... Oh, we're here. Let me take this one as well, because that was going so well. I don't think I put my auras on last time. Don't like physical damage. I can have some lightning though. Mana is spent. Gotcha that time. Yeah, that's a new new effect they've got there. That's very sneaky. Oh, superior detonate mines, Monsieur. Scepter and a tunic. I can't see myself using that. I think we were supposed to get two rings. I only saw one ring. There. I guess it's jewellery. Maybe jewels? Counters? Oh, God knows. God knows. I do miss the Pathfinder's self-refilling flasks. I've said it before. I will no doubt say it again. The Pathfinder is a great class. That poison concoction build. 
from Noogie was superb. But I did thank him and uh, give him some money thanks to buying this pirate outfit from Path of Exile. So, thanks, Noogie. Right, let's collect our loot. Jewel's Orb, Convocation, Rustic Sash, Bauble. Doubt the Rustic Sash is going to be interesting. It's 45 life. So that's less than we've got now. Comparable cold resist. Meh. I say meh. I do like the fact that you can body block these guys with cannons. It's a dealy. Okay. I must have time to gather. Nice. Why not? My mana is spent. He's <laughs> finally decided to chase me rather than shoot the guns. Sensible man. Bye. <laughs> Too slow, chicken Marengo. Okay. Spirit shield, spike shield. Shame we can't use shields. It really is. Could sell them, I guess. Ha! Huh. Oh. That's frenzy. I'm really liking these explosive guns. Be better when they level. Less keen on mobs that want to um, hit me, of course. Thanks, pal. some mana on hit. This should be the right way because there's an expedition in you it. There, local. Come here. Don't wanna.
Is it Berserker that gives you unique items? Yes, it is. That's really sweet. Might pick up a few more of those and then try the um, use them on a new character to get a tabular trick. Either that or we can try farmer tabular. A sense of tabular might be a good plan. I mean, if all goes well, we're not getting hit as much as some. So, the loss of body stats may not be quite as crippling. Wow. Support. Nice we have spare. I am slots. no beast of burden. Uh, yes, that is true. Explosive arrow. What are we going to go up to? We had 100 to 149, which is getting pretty good, and we're now up to 112 to 168. <clears throat> so we're seriously getting more damage. <clears throat> cool. <clears throat> so. we need is to kill whoever this is. Dark Harbinger of Lunaris. My mana is spent. Who seems to be quite tanky? Plus side is not doing that much to us. Ooh, crafting recipe. It's taken a while. I think we could do with increasing the damage somewhat, but you know. Oh. I am no beast of burden. <laughs> of course, the moon orb <laughs> has to be absolutely massive. The size of the moon. To the touch, and within, as vast as the night. Hmm. I knew a girl like that once. <laughs> uh, right, so we're done here then. So now we gotta go to the Solaris Temple. Let's just get the character selection. Come over here. Will do. Right. Uh, boots of not going very fast. Nice kill resist. Have you got any? Has it got an open suffix? Is movement speed a suffix? I can't recall. Uh, craft of exile.com. Boots. Dexint. Speed. That's nah, a prefix. I think. I don't think there's a hidden suffix. There's an incursion movement speed mod. Uh, a failed movement speed mod. Ooh, that is nice. Level 60, though. Did 
does the Veiled Movement Speed mod block the other one? So that's item group 2. Where's the Veiled Movement Speed mod? Uh, group 2, yeah it is. Yeah, that is fancy. Fancy. What about crafting movement speed? Level 68. Uh, oh. Okay, up to 19% from level 40. But it's still a prefix. And that's got full prefixes, so screw it. Fire res, no life. Fire res is nice. Overall res, low. Uh, life's nice. Bit of res is nice. Regen's nice. Bit of mana, the bad thing. Would lose some res though, overall. Yeah, not that great. Whatever. Can't use it. Can't use it. Uh, no quality. Don't care. Not really. Life cast speed. Fire damage. Goodbye. No, oh, it's a flask orb. Nice. Don't care about that. Okay. So all the currency, uh, quality gems. Probably got enough now to start actually making. Because if you take, if you can get forty quality out of those, you can make one of these. The vendor. Uh, I don't think we're going to need that. It's quite nice, but less resist, so overall no. Oh, Chaos Res Ring. Uh, I'm going to keep that regardless. Oops. Cold damage. It's a bit rubbish, but we could re-roll it. Trinity Sport we don't need. Add a quest item. Spirit shield we can't use. Okay. This is new. You get in there. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So, so, so. Gotta go to the Solaris Temple. I think it's this way. I think. Could be wrong. It's not this way. Complete. And we're Hierophant, which is all, all very nice. That was the idea. Now, I think Avatar of the Hunt would be a good next one. Increase movement speed, damage with bows, dot skills, and evasion. Yep, fairly sure that's on the list. Let's all check after the fact. Yep. 
cool. Still not sure. I know we have to avoid added fire damage. I I have this. I think that we probably have to avoid added any elemental damage when, when we buy elemental equilibrium. Is this the right way? Yup. Okay. Now that we're here, is there a waypoint? I can't remember. You tell me. No, there is not. Do we have to, um, do we have to fight Tolman here? I have a feeling that maybe we do. socket five sorry five socket falling Phantom Mace. Well, obviously their midichlorian count wasn't high enough. Flame Dash. That's fine. I don't want to level Flame Dash anymore. I don't know why we were leveling in the first place, to be honest. Let's get rid of that. We can level it from here, if we wish, which we don't.
options. Twenty few things. Nice. Well, it would be if we got another another seven. Yep, that's the Tolman site. Let's do it. Oh. Do we have to trigger this somehow? Are we just unlucky and we're too early? Watch yourself. Hmm. Love is dead. Search the key for the Ankh of Eternity. Oh, balls. Right. So we've got to find the Ankh of Eternity and then come back. Jesus. Reverts has been rocketing all the way through this, this, this season opening. Can't believe he's level 98. I have never reached level 98, even in months of play. Now, I'm not the fastest. I'm not the, I'm not the absolute slowest, but... I'm probably joint absolute slowest. <laughs> My mana is spent. This ank is bound to be back where I've come from. Absolutely fucking guarantee it. And I do this every time. I don't start looking for it until it's too late. Reverts is, I mean, he's just doing so well. I'm impressed he stayed first. I wonder if he actually sleeps. I'm guessing not so much. Which seems to be a common phenomenon at league starts. People who are fastest seem to just skip sleep. Do I believe there's a waypoint there? Is there? Yes. Okay. So what I'd like to do is to find it fast, which we can, and then go back. Actually, go back the other way. Quick smart, ideally.
before the instance closes. There we go. So that we can search only the parts that we have not yet searched to find this blasted widget. I must have time to gather my will. Hell, I wish I had a Pathfinder. Oh, I'm guessing that is an actual dead end. Yep. actually covered a remarkable amount of this. So I don't quite know how there's going to mm, bugger. There's going to be a little exit somewhere, isn't there, that I've missed. Is there an off-ramp which I've missed? Yes. There is. that'll refill the flasks. God, let's do it again. Let's not use the flasks in here this time. I suppose for such occasions I could actually just equip loads of uh Quicksilvers, if and of course I don't have loads of Quicksilvers, but hypothetically, right there we go. Thanks, pal. Right, uh, I think it's going to be faster to go back from the grain gate, is it? No, not really. It's just equally shit, whichever way you do it. Can't beam across that, can I? Beam across this? No. No, 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 no. Too easy. Right. Give it to me. Yep, that was the idea. Quite a busy fight normally. <laughs> Plenty to do usually. Well, indeed. Talk to in town. I've seen resurrection. It was nightmarish, not beautiful. <laughs> Actually, sounds like this chap has a genuine accent. He's not putting on the accent. It's interesting. 
and quite surprising, really. Portal. Nice. I'll make use of that next time uh, we level up. Meantime, solar eclipse. How are we on time? 40 minutes. Four hours for the campaign. Yeah. Yeah, that's doable. <laughs> Good navigation there. I'm back where I started. I must have time to gather my will. Busier in here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on then. It's not what you do if you want to go fast, but. Hey! Our item, our new item filter is working. A very ordinary thicket bow. That's no help. These guns are up to spec now. Nice. My mana is spent. I love the assorted noises of this game. Doom to chi wow. Ooh. Sacrifice of dawn. It's I am fun. no beast of burden. Uh, that's certainly true. 53 life. Nice invasion. Wow. Well, I mean, you know, for this level. Nothing special, though, to be honest. I could take it and sell it. Right, pressing on. in thicket and fast.
Uh, let's just have a bit of a clean out. May as well do some leveling. We are carrying all sorts of shit. Come over here. Uh, I don't really care about that. Don't have the decks for those. Yeah, the thicker bow isn't really what I'm looking for. Maybe we should take it off the list. Where is the list? Thickets. Yeah, that is the highest level one. Yeah, I don't see that we're going to need more than one of those, so I think I'll take them off the drop list. Yeah. Let's just accept that. Let's reload the filter. Okay. Uh, let's just bank a thicket bow. Take the highest level one, 60. Yeah, could probably not that much difference. Well, maybe we'll take a lower one as well, because sometimes you want the one that's highest level so you can get a mod, and sometimes you want one that's lower level so that it can't get a mod. Because that increases you your odds of getting other mods just going to flog that, whatever. Uh, ooh, Corundum. Fall gems, don't care about that. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I might buy the flask tab at some point. Power Siphon, because we do like to collect foul skills. Uh, cool, done on that front. Now, skill points. So we could buy EE. Maybe it's time to look this up. Uh, how long do we have on the video? We've got 10 minutes, that's probably enough time to look it up. So EE. Which is what I've been agonizing about. I do want this. So, hits that deal elemental damage, remove exposure to those elements, and inflict exposure to other elements. So, uh, he said yawning. The um, idea is that effectively we are firing, we're dropping turrets that fire arrows, and those arrows will do damage, And but there's a little fuse on the end of the arrow, uh, and then it explodes a short time later. So, elemental equilibrium is very good for us, because what you want to do is to shoot them with elements that they are, that they don't have exposure to, you shoot them with elements that aren't that aren't fire, because the explosion you're going to get when the fuse expires is fire. Uh, so you want to hit them with another element or several, by the looks, before that, because that will give them exposure to everything else. So if we hit them, I, I've been thinking that actually you you need one element. So say we hit them with a cold arrow, then the fuse burned down and it explodes. Uh, and that that would be necessary, that it was only cold. But actually, it's going to be fine, because if it's cold, it just removes cold exposure, which we don't care about. Uh, we only want fire exposure. So we can hit them with cold and lightning. We can hit them with poison, we can hit them with physical, we can hit them with chaos, whatever we want to hit them with. As long as we hit them with an element that is not fire, yeah. So, we can buy this, in fact. Because this, and then that exposure will reduce their resistance by 25%, and then the fuse burns down. 
and when the fuse burrs down, uh, it explodes, they're no longer resistant. However, they then uh, lose the exposure as soon as they're damaged. So you want to hit them with something else, which is why we have lots of toads shooting them all the time. Um, now, I mean, I suppose in theory, and people don't talk about this, but I mean, I suppose in theory, you know, it's possible for something to explode and then for another arrow to explode. The first explosion would remove exposure from the second to expose the exposure that you want from the second. But as long as they've been shot in the meantime, it should be fine. Um, so, TLDR will buy EE. As long as we're not inflicting f fire with explosive arrow, which it doesn't look like we are. Uh, what's our ignite chance? Did I see that there? Yeah, 65. So, there, so I think yesterday I was faffing about worrying about removing other kinds of damage. But I don't think we need to. As long as we don't add fire damage, we're fine. The added damage won't do a lot, but we don't want added fire damage. But we do want added damage of some sort. It just doesn't matter what. Added elemental damage. <laughs> so. There we go. Now our gloves currently have added lightning damage to attacks, so that's fine. Because <coughs> we'll hit them with the lightning, they will lose lightning exposure, but then the fuse will burn down and explode. Uh, oh, that's actually rather nice. If, multiple, if an enemy has multiple explosive arrows stuck in them, the first one to explode will consume the others, adding their damage to its explosion. So actually, that works well with exposure, because there's only one explosion from multiple arrows. So they had to be hit again, at which point we inflict exposure. So, yeah, <coughs> nice. <clears throat> cool. What else does that do? Explosion deals less base damage but adds fire damage. More arrows stuck in the target means bigger radius. More damage that hits and ailments per arrow on the target. So you want to shoot them a lot. Maximum 20 arrows stuck in enemy. So when they get to 20 arrows, they'll blow up. <clears throat> they just explode anyway. Uh, at the moment, I mean, that might increase as we level. As might any of those stats. Okay. Also, that's going to level up soon, which is nice. So, fine. Yeah, so we've got our added damage. Lightning. We don't have added fire. So it is just added fire we want to avoid. And what is our accuracy... Only five percent chance to hit. That is pretty rubbish. Okay. Um, so other task. What else are we buying? Uh, that's end game. Can we just do forty to fifty-five again? Okay. So a post is supposed to have brought down to burning brutality. Have we? Yes, we have. Okay, got EE, e. and we bought Ground to our Tower of the Hunt. This tree doesn't have those nodes because we haven't updated it because it messes things up. So that's fine. That is attack speed. I mean, those nodes are actually looking quite, quite tasty. Phasing on kill, but um, let's not buy them for now. We might fiddle with this build once we've got more of it developed. We're supposed to have bought Profane Chemistry, which we have. We're supposed to have bought Sentinel, which we have. Okay, so we're done down there, I think. We're supposed to have removed Iron Will, which we did. And Light of Divinity, which we also removed. We removed Rune, Rune Binder. We're supposed to have bought Ancestral Bond, which we did. 
And then we're supposed to have bought up to Acrimony. Have we done that? Yep. Yes, we have. What we haven't done is done the second Ascendancy that we're supposed to have done. Which would actually be a nice thing to do. Uh, I knew that would happen. Fucking <laughs> shitballs. I knew that that portal would vanish. Spending time in town in this game is just a bad plan. Alright, so we need to have done the lab. What would be next? So there's this offshoot over here, which gives us... And that's a nice node, because that's accuracy and attack speed, which is very tasty. And there's some health. There's resist all, which is good, and elemental damage of the tax, which is very nice. Elemental damage of the tax, very nice. Spell suppression, we'd like. Life and evasion. Herbal poultices. Yup. Yeah, I mean that's um that's pretty tasty. Whereas over here we got some life and resist and then going up to fire dot multiplier. My suspicion is we will get more out of this offshoot in the short term with accuracy, attack speed, Stun Avoidance, Resist, Spell Suppression, Life Flask Recovery. Yeah, so let's do that. So where are we going? Uh, we're going out across from above EE to Finesse. Are we buying Finesse when we can? Yes, we are. And then up to Heart of Oak. Cool. Right, I suspect we've topped out the hour. Pretty much. Um, in which case, let us call this for uh, a second and um, uh, continue shortly redoing that small bit of level we just did because the portal's finished. See you shortly.